What is up you guys? My name is Brianna and today I'm going to share with you guys how to get this really fun sunset smoky eye that also has a really cool kind of like glam vibe to it. And today we are going to be revisiting the Imagination Palette by Morphe which is their collaboration with Maddie Ziegler. And if you haven't seen this palette yet, it is so cool. Like there's just so much fun, you know, like colors in here. There's some neutrals. It is definitely a palette that is perfect for summer. And if you'd like to see my original review on this palette, I'll have it linked in the description box down below for you. And with that look though, I did like the coolest thing. Like it was like a pinky purple smoky eye with like this little sunset on the lid. It literally turned out so awesome. I definitely recommend checking it out if you want more inspiration for this palette. But before we jump into it though, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on my Instagram page, it is at Brianna Faye. So the first thing that we are going to be doing is of course priming our eyelids and I'm just going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. So today we are going to be dipping back into the Imagination Palette by Morphe which is the Maddie Ziegler collaboration and I seriously had a lot of fun the first time that I used this palette so I was like why not use it again and I think today though I want to explore these kind of like warmer tones in here especially this kind of like corally color like this one keeps on catching my eye. So the first shade I want to go in with though is this really pretty yellow in the palette called Like Butter. And then using this big old fluffy brush from the Pride Collection from Morphe, I'm just going to be popping this right into my crease. I haven't used this brush set before and I gotta say just from like a first impression, this brush is like so soft. Like I don't know how to explain it but I can't necessarily feel the bristle hairs because they're that soft. Like I don't know how else to explain it. Like they're just, they almost remind me of like a fuzzy blanket, you know like that softness. And I'm just going to keep on building up this yellow until it looks like it does in the pan. Okay, but is it me or is this yellow looking a little bit more on the neon side? Like, it's a really cool color. But the next shade that we are going to be going in with is this awesome, like, corally color, and it is called Crushed. And then using this S2 blending brush from Kaleidos, I'm going to be popping this baby right into my crease. Okay, but that is applying a lot more orange than what I was expecting. I expected it to look a lot more pink right away. I mean, it's a cute color, it's just not exactly what I was expecting. And then once I have it in my crease, I'm just doing these little tiny circular motions to blend that into that yellow. And again, I'm using it to round out my outer V. You see what I mean though? It definitely is applying a little bit more on the orange side. I mean, which is not a bad thing, I just wanted like that little pink pop. You know what I mean? Like when you use a coral color, it has like that pink hue, and that's kind of what I was going for. But I will say formula wise, like this shade's really beautiful. You can see it just has a lot of pigmentation and it's blending out really nice as well. So after applying that orange, you can see we really kind of lost that yellow. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more on that brush that we applied it with and kind of like buff it around the edges of that orange. Yeah, I'm. it definitely is not as yellow as this side and I really like this side a lot. But at the same time, I think it's a cute little vibe. So now we're going to be using my absolute favorite shade out of this palette, and that is this beautiful burgundy shade called Go Home. And then I'm just going to be taking it on this Sigma E33, and this is like a super tiny little blending brush. It is absolutely perfect for the crease. And I'm first going to be initially applying that shade right into my crease because I want a lot of definition with this look, because you guys know me, I like my looks really dark and smoky. And then I'm also going to be using it to round out my outer V. And then once it's in there, I'm just going to start doing these little tiny circular motions to blend that into that orange. And when you're doing this, it helps if you build up that color in the crease and then just kind of use whatever is left on your brush to fluff it outwards. Now, I don't know if you like this too, but like orangey reds with cheetah print is such a vibe. I don't know what is up with it, but like I just love them next to each other. But off camera though, I'm just going to quickly cut my crease and I'm just going to do like a normal cut crease. And I'm just going to be using that Anastasia eye primer that we used earlier. So after cutting the crease, you can see we have this harsh line right here, so we're going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to take a little bit more of Go Home. And I'm using this pinched blending brush from Morphe out of the Pride set. And it kind of has like a flatter side. And I'm packing Go Home with that flat side right on that harsh line. And then with whatever is left on my brush, I'm just flicking it inwards. And this will help blend in the other colors in a minute. So let's get that outer edge all nice and blended out. Now we're going to start working on the lid. And I first want to go in with this beautiful blue in the palette called number 5. And then using this flat shader brush, I'm just going to be applying it to the outer kind of like half of my lid. So I'm cutting my lid right in half with the brush. And I'm applying it from that half outwards. 
and then I'm also slightly overlapping it with that dark burgundy that we just applied. And since this is a matte, when you're applying it, you really want to make sure that you are pressing it into that base, just to make sure it looks all nice and smooth on the lid. And I'm going to warn you, like this shade is so intensely pigmented and the formula is just really soft, so it kind of gets everywhere, so you just want to be a little bit careful with it. It's definitely one of those shades less is more when you're applying it. I'm just going to take that brush that we applied that burgundy with in this outer third, and with whatever is left on it, I'm kind of like fluffing it into that blue just to get rid of any harsh lines. And now we're gonna be going in with a shade I haven't used yet, and that is this green in the palette called Mint. And then using a different flat shader brush, I'm just going to be applying it anywhere that that base is still showing. And I gotta say, it's not as pigmented as the blue was. Let's see if it'll build up a little bit. I mean, it's kind of building up, but it's just, it's not exactly what I was expecting. It's still a really pretty shade though. I was just expecting it to be a lot more intense right away, especially after swatching it. And I'm also slightly overlapping it with that blue just to help blend everything together. I gotta say, I kinda like this look before I applied the green. I wish I would have not done the green. Maybe we can fix it maybe with like a lid topper or something. Now I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more blue. And kinda like finesse that edge. Yeah, I don't know if I like the green or not. Like next to the blue, kinda like where we did the placement. I mean, I like the green, I like the color of it, but I don't know if I like it where I put it. I don't know if you feel like this too, but I don't think that this green screams mint to me. I don't know why it's named mint. I mean, it's a cute shade, it just doesn't have like that minty vibe. Like to me, it almost looks more like a grass green. Yeah, I just don't like that green where it's at. So what I'm doing is taking whatever is left on my brush with that blue and going lightly over top. So we kind of have like a little bit of a green moment, but it doesn't have like that dark light kind of thing to it. Because to me, like, the green just looks a little too dark next to that blue. Especially with having it in that inner part. Ooh, I like that a lot better. You know what, I'm kind of in the mood to spice up this look just a little bit, so I'm gonna go in with this Liquid Fairy Lights from Pixie in the shade Crystalline. Again, like, you can keep this look matte, but I just want it a little bit on the sparkly side. And this Liquid Fairy Lights from Pixie is so good. Like, if you've never tried these before, I cannot recommend them enough. Literally one of my favorite lid topper formulas. Especially this one because it's a little bit more on the iridescent side, but it still has a lot of glitter to it. Oh yeah, I love that. That is so cool. And I'm just kind of putting it over the green in the blue. And I'm also slightly following that cut crease that we did. And then with whatever is left on the applicator, I'm kind of feathering it into that outer V. Okay, but like crystalline was a cherry on top with this look because I mean it was cute as an all matte little vibe Like I really did like it, but the glitter brought it to a whole other level like it is like right here for me I am obsessed with it, but off camera though I'm just gonna quickly clean things up a little bit because as you can tell I got a little bit of fallout on my face Which is not cute and I'm also going to apply like my complexion products my liner my lashes And then afterwards I'll be right back to finish up the look so here's where I'm at right now with the look after applying my complexion products and now we're going to start working on the lower lash line and I'm going to go in with this corally color that we used earlier called Crushed. And then using this teeny tiny little smudger brush from Moda, I'm just going to be running this right underneath my lower lash line doing back and forth motions. So now we're going to be doing my absolute favorite part which is the inner corner highlight and I'm just going to keep it real. There is no really good inner corner highlights in this palette. That is one downfall of it to me is that there's no like icy shades, you know, there's no transformer shades and I feel like it would have really added a lot if they did have them in here. So instead we're actually going to be using one of my favorite highlighting palettes and that is the Moonchild Glow Kit from Anastasia. I'm seriously so torn between using the green and the blue because I think they both would look super cool with this look. But I think I want to go in with Lucky Clover though since we have that little hint of green right here. And then using this Morphe pencil brush, it is a M431. I'm just going to be packing this super heavily into my inner corner. Like I am literally packing it so hard because I want it as bright and blinding as we can get it. And I'm also slightly running it underneath the lower lash line as well, just to tie everything together. Oh yeah, like the green was definitely the best choice. It looks so pretty. And I mean, it's not like a lime green inner corner highlight, it's like a green kind of like bluish hue. I'm just saying, if you've never tried out this palette before and you love fun colored highlighters, or if you're looking for iridescent shades for your inner corner, this palette is literally perfect for it. Like by far one of my absolute favorite palettes in my collection.
I just can't get over how cool this look turned out. Like it definitely gives me like a whole summer vibe. But if you're honestly looking for a really fun summer palette, I think you'd be really happy with this one because so far I have been really enjoying it myself. I love that it has like these neutrally colors and you also get these really fun bright pops of color. And when I say like a bright pop of color, like they have like almost a pastel hue to them. So they're really trendy. I feel like pastels are definitely like the summer trend right now. Like I have been seeing them everywhere. You know, it practically seems like every brand has a pastel palette right now. So if you're looking for a really fun everyday palette that has just a little bit of a fun pop of color for summer, I think this one would be really fun to check out. But yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know what you think about this look and also let me know if you'd like to see more looks using this palette because if you guys would like to see them, I'd be happy to film them for you guys. But as always though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on my Instagram page, it is at Brianna Faye. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!